Hello once again, my crystal ears, and welcome back to the War Slime Rancher. Okay, so I did. Whoa, this is unexpected. Um, I was a wall guard. I was just about to start recording it, and this apparently started happening. Okay, so in the last episode, I got a slime key. Ow! And uh, get out of here. And I wanted to use it in this episode. What the heck, man? I just started. I didn't need. I just swear I didn't know these guys were freaking spawning. Apparently, they were starting mutating under my ledge there okay so yeah I was I'm in uh, this area back there was like the hey guy hey go be evil somewhere else all right so I have a slime key let's uh open up a new path uh, I forgot how awesome that was so cool all right let's see what we got going on okay so I think I can make the pattern I think I can make the assumption that uh, slime keys are begotten by uh, pink gordo slimes. Jeez, I just got here. I want to explore the new area, not fight off the evil. Okay. I don't have water tank ability yet, but I did upgrade before starting this episode. Uh, I gave myself some more health, and I gave myself this pulse attack. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Not really doing too much, though, to be honest. Whoa, there's a lot of them, actually. I'm kind of getting worried. Okay, I usually can handle myself pretty well, but... I'm not having any clear shots to the ocean. Get out of here. Get out of here. These guys are multiplying for real. Nope. Yo. Where you going? Get out of here. Yeah, that's right. I changed your trajectory and I killed you by hitting you in the ocean. Ow. Hey, wait a second. I know this place. Aw, oh, man. That sucks. This place isn't new at all. It's super, super not new. Dang it. <laughs> Dude, I just opened up. Oh, uh, what? And this is the. Ow. And this is totally the door that I saw last time, which I thought it was a completely new area as well. But it's just a shortcut. I mean, shortcuts are cool and all, but this is not what I expected. Oh well. Um. Okay, I mean, I did just see something at a glance here. When I was coming over here, I saw this. It's like another path down here. And I'm pretty sure a long time ago I discovered this cave before. And if I'm not wrong, it's a big phosphor slime. Yeah, okay, so it's still the phosphor slime. Oh, hello, there's a treasure pot in here. Okay, so since that slime key door was kind of disappointing, to be honest. Because I'm all about new areas, and that was just a shortcut to old areas. Uh, let's make this episode about getting us the laboratory. You know, I mean, we didn't, we barely just started the episode, it's only been a couple minutes. So, uh, you know, the laboratory will be a nice, nice exciting thing to do. So let's do it. Alright, so I picked up a few plorts, because I'm going to sell them, I'm going to sell them, them thar things. And I do remember there was a teleporter. Next time I get a slime key, I'm going this way, because I know for a fact that that is a new area for sure. So I'm going to go over here, teleport over yonder. Um, I guess I'll pick these up to feed my random slimes. Can't pick that up. Do that Thank you very much. Yep, yep. Okay, awesome, awesome. Huh. Forgot I had this old Goku crop over here. I'll pick these up and feed my rad pork guys, my rad slimes, because they love these. What's going on over here? <gasps> cool. Forgot I had onions too. These pink ports aren't very uh, important to me. Go ahead and pick these guys up. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir. There we go. Okay. I can feed the onions to the crystal slimes, which are still the best slimes ever. Ooh, if I can combine, if I can hybrid make the crystal slimes and the honey slimes, because I remember loving the honey slimes. I thought they were adorable. Um, if I can do that, then that'll truly make a slime that I love forever. Okay, here you go, guys. Let me do that. And, uh, let's collect some ports. Blow it up. Yeah. Oh, you know what? If I... I do want to buy the laboratory right now, though, so you know what? I'm probably not gonna... I'm gonna go ahead and not spend any money. Ah, don't explode on my face! Ow! I'm gonna not spend any money. Just so I can ensure um, my laboratory buying miss on this episode. 
we'll explore the options that that ha that will give us that will open to us. I don't know. I don't really. I've seen a little bit of it, but I haven't really seen that much of it because I like you know exploring the stuff with you guys, and I hope you guys will enjoy my experience of it. <laughs> so yeah, let's see what happens. Let me just sell this stuff. Um, I feel like this will get me there up to ten grand. I'm pretty sure it will. Especially the red ports, not so much the rock and pink ones. Or the Let's get this going. Ba -da -da -ba -da -ba -da. Maximum power. Okay. Just a little shy. Oof, just a little bit shy of ten grand. So let's uh, collect ouch, another batch of these because there's a ton of these. Have a lot of red ports. Yeah, feeding the feeding your slimes their favorite food is a big advantage. It makes so much more uh, pork. You pick up the rest of these. I think that I'll empty it out. Yep. Oh, just one. Shoot one in there. Okay. Pick these up. Just three. That's fine. It'll serve my purposes for having ten thousand dollars. Okay. Let's go up here. Let me check the. Uh, what's this going? On? Eh. I don't really have that on hand, so I'm gonna go ahead and ignore that request. Okay. Uh, this will obviously get me to 10 grand, but I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna stop there. I'm gonna sell what I have on me. And. Bam! Alright, let's see what the heck this laboratory has got for us. So, let's see. How much does this cost? I know it was something kind of like 10 grand. Okay, it's 10 grand exactly. I only have that much left, but you know, I have a ton of, I have a ton of plants left to sell, so. Purchase that! Slime Science! You've unlocked the lab, a special ranch expansion that will allow you to create gadgets using Slime Science. Head on over to the barn and get started. Okay, let's do it. Hehe, <laughs> excited. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, that looks nice. It reminds me of like a Fallout 4 garage or something. What's this going on? What is this thing? Whatever it is, it's cool. It's a cool... I like the uh, little objective marker for this game. Oh cool, what's going on over here? Uh, I'll be right there. Uh, let's see what's going on over here. Cool, are these like supplies? Can I open these? If I had like that treasure... <gasps> cool. I almost choked on myself. On my spit, just, uh, gasping. What's going on over here? <gasps> oh, no way! Cool! While I'm here, I'll, I'll pick these up. But uh, yeah, awesome. This totally connects to this underground place. My cave room. Awesome. I don't think they can make that many ports at one time. They've been here, they've been alone for a long time, so they should have had more water ports than that. Uh, you know what, screw that. I was about to collect cube berries and feed my phosphorus slimes, but I really want to see this slime, this laboratory thing, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Awesome. Looks cool. I like it. I'm sure that time to get crafty. This barn has all the equipment you'll need to get crafting gadgets using slime sounds. Gadgets include useful utilities to aid in exploring, defensive turrets, decorations, and more. Defensive turrets. That's an interesting concept. Okay, let's go on in. Cool. Awesome. The refinery. In order to fabricate gadgets, you'll need resources in your refinery. Try shooting a port into the refinery. But remember, any resources deposited into your refinery cannot be removed. Okay. Well, I, the only ports I have are puddle ports, so I don't really want to just shove them in there. Whoa, what is this? Is that three printer or something? What is this? What's this? Uh, fabricate gadgets. Novice drill. Allows you to drill for buried minerals. Lasts one cycle. I need pink ports, rock ports, and red ports. Learn more. Wool extractors. A fabricator. Let's get crafted. Blah blah blah. Uh, from a blueprint using resources you've uh, stored within the refinery, you can generally build as many gadgets of a specific blueprint as you wish. However, some special gadgets have build limits, uh, allowing you to only own a certain number of them at a time. Warp tech. Trying to think about it. How? Try not to think about how it works. Warp tech is a class of slime science gadgets that allow you to harness the power of instantaneous travel. It includes teleporters that you can use to create shortcuts, as well as gadgets that allow you to transport items. <sighs> cool! Craft warp tech in order to ranch and explore much faster and more efficiently. Ooh, decorations! Curious? Because why not? Uh, 
I guess it's not, yeah, that's not curious. It's curios? Curios are a class of slime science gadgets that will, that while functional are not necessarily useful. Curios include toys, games, and other gimmicky gadgets that can be a great time with an equally great imagination. Craft curios in order to make your slime wrenching a little s sillier, which is the best kind of slime wrenching, to be honest. What the heck is that? Wow, okay, you know what? Yeah, okay, so let's see. Tilly, Sport Tech, Decorations, Curios, Extractors. I have a novice drill. Okay, I need red plorts, rock plorts, pink plorts. Let's go ahead and do that. And we'll, we're gonna have to put it in here into this thing, and we'll get cracking. What's this thing? Uh, builder's Shop. I can buy blueprints. Awesome. Okay. Apiary. What the heck's an apiary? It allows you to collect resources from wild bees? What does that mean? Why do I want anything from a bee? I'm a slime rancher, not a bee rancher. Not that I don't want it, but... Slime stage? It allows you to let other slimes know who is unequivocally the number one slime. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna do that. Pink slime lamp. Slime ball hoop. I love it. Ooh, med station. This is gonna be so awesome. Oh, okay, let's go. Uh, let's go build at least the pump or whatever that was. The drill, I think, actually. Uh, this episode. One. I'm so glad it's nearby. Okay, so I need pink quartz, I need rock quartz, and I need rad quartz. All on hand, which is always good. Let's do that. This should be enough. I don't remember the exact number, but that should be enough. Okay, I'm just gonna pick up all of that. And I don't remember the number, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't over like five or whatever, so let's do that. And actually while I'm at it, I'm gonna sell these puddle quartz because they're very fragile, so if they hit anything else, if I accidentally shoot one out and hit something else, it'll like screw up, so I'm gonna go over here. Alright, let's let's build something. Let's just build something. I don't know. I'm excited. This is like a whole new level to the game. It adds like a whole new thing to the game. Cause like I loved this game. As it has been, like, just with the stuff that I've been doing, I've been loving it. And this addition to it is, like, awesome, dude. Okay, let's try this out. Fabricate! I did it. Okay, cool. I did it. This is the Builder's Shop. Builder's Shop allows you to purchase blueprints. A blueprint is required to build any gadget. Be sure to check the Builder's Shop often for new blueprints. Okay, so, um, I don't know if it wants me to buy something right now. Um, I can though, so, um, let's buy that. Oops. Okay, so I bought that. Is this, like, making it now? Uh, the fabricator. Yeah, once you have a blueprint, the fabricator allows you to craft gadgets, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I already made one. Um, how do I, like, how do I, like, make it? Should I try it? Okay, let's go ahead and make that, I guess. But where's the pump? Did it, like, spawn in the map somewhere? Gadget mode. In order to place gadgets... Oh, okay. You need to enable gadget mode. Press T to toggle mesh board. Whoa! Now, it's really reminding me of, like, Fallout 4 and how you can, like, build your deals on your, like, camps. Uh, in gadget mode, you cannot back or shoot. You can see all the build sites in the world that you can place your gadgets. Have a... Have a look around. Okay. Okay, I can one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, some more over here. There's a lot of places to put my stuff around. Okay. Uh let's put one here. Let's put my guy here. Uh this guy just installed permanently until demolished. Okay, that's fine. Whoa, hey. Whoa, oh, awesome. What's up, buddy? Yo. Science class pass. That covers the basics of slime science. To learn more, check out the new slime science section in your slimepedia. It's loaded with handy info. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's really awesome. Okay, so this guy's just gonna be drilling. Uh, and I guess in 20 minutes I will get something cool. I don't know what. The, I don't know what resource it will give me, but I am excited. I'm excited. I'm just really happy to get this finally. Oh man, this is awesome. Okay, so, okay, my name is Crystal Face. We'll be checking out some more laboratory stuff in the coming episodes. Like I said, this adds like a whole nother layer to the gameplay, and I'm very, very excited to get into it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. 
And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Say bye-bye to Drilly. Bye, Drilly. See you later.